Hey Sunshine and thanks for watching. We'll be discussing fitness, fashion, and ways to focus on greatness. Please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so what I did was shampoo my hair in the shower and I made uh, small braids and slept overnight. It's pretty dry. Uh, if it's not dry all the way, use a blow dryer to completely dry your hair. That will eliminate frizz. And what I use in my hair is the hair growth wild oil, hair growth, wild growth hair oil, excuse me. Um, it's about $10 at the beauty supply. I use that and I use the No More Itch Grow Spray, the Jamaican Mango and Lime, No More Itch Grow Spray. I use those two products daily. When I shampoo my hair, which is usually once a week, I use mousse. You do not have to use a certain brand, uh, nothing expensive. This was on sale and I use mousse. Again, I let the braid sleep um, dry overnight to keep the curl pattern and I found that it eliminates frizz. Also, what I use is aromatherapy. I like the lemongrass and ginger, and I spray that on my hair for a fresh scent. Um, so I'm just showing you how I just go through all the parts with the hair oil. And I usually do this in the morning so that I don't have stains on my pillowcases or sheets. Get it all through my hair, rub it in my scalp, I'm just giving you a quick tip this morning, but usually I take my time and put it through each part and then massage my scalp with the oil. As you can see, my hair is growing out pretty good. I've only had these um, crochets in for two weeks and they're lasting pretty long. What I do once the crochets are installed is I tie a small little knot on them as well that's how they stay in my hair i haven't had one piece come out a little uh, oil dripping so then i unravel each braid as you can see the curl pattern is still intact all my um hair is not frizzy there's a good sheen to it and that's based on using the mousse prior to braiding that is the that is the key use the mousse on your hair prior to braiding and you will have a great sheen no frizz and the curl pattern will stay in place um let me see another tip that i've learned um i do tie the knot and i don't personally worry about tying my braids very tight uh, i like for my braids to be comfortable i don't want to be in pain once uh, I've braided my hair down, it's supposed to be a protective style. So you don't want a lot of pulling on your hair to hurt your edges or remove your edges by a lot of traction on there. So as you can see, it's still very curly, no frizz at all, no tangling. I haven't had any tangling, I haven't had to cut the hair or anything because, <coughs> excuse me, haven't had to cut the hair or anything, any kind of balls or any matting involved and at all. Um, this is the Aruba curl that I tried. It was already pre-cut, so it was a 12 inch Aruba curl that I had and it is a color number one and 27. So the roots are one and the you know the ends are the blonde color the 27. once i'm done i use a very small amount i'm sorry i didn't show the amount very small amount about a dime size and rub it all throughout my hair i don't use any more than that about a dime size rub it all throughout my hair just for a little sheen you don't have to use the wild growth hair oil for this process for this um for, to rub it through the synthetic hair. I just didn't have any other oil on hand, so I used this wild growth hair oil. And as you can see, everything is looking great. Like I, you know, you can't, of course you cannot comb through the hair. So 
Also, I go through each part and spray the no more itch i do i have a lot of itching sometimes with my scalp which is why i do need a hairstyle that i can still shampoo and the curl pattern works great with the crochet braids that i'm able to shampoo i'm not certain about the locks or other styles that are maybe more wavy i have not had those crochet uh, braid patterns because uh, i've just used curly so far i've used different curl patterns but i haven't had the locks the braids the twists so i'm not certain that those will work for shampoo but i know i personally cannot wait three or four weeks to shampoo my hair i need to shampoo my scalp otherwise i have a lot of buildup and uh dry scalp a lot of dandruff will come up and i don't want my hair stinking either not that everyone's does but i don't want my hair stinking based on the grease and working out every day and all that so let me know how you guys like it down below this is not a tutorial just giving you some tips on how i maintain my um crochet braids and also i'm going to show you how i do my edges just pinning my hair back with a um, scrunchie as you can see my edges look a little crunchy right now but apply a little um edge control i am so sorry that i forgot to show you the edge control but i will link the product down below a friend of mine on facebook just started creating her own edge control and i really have been enjoying it it keeps my hair nice and light there is not a lot of build up i usually only have to do it like every two days because i tie my hair down at night and it's not hard at the end of the day uh, it's really soft it doesn't turn white throughout the day and i i have really been enjoying it again the link will be down below i prefer the swoops instead of the lines that most people make i left my brush that was included with my um, edge control in the car so i'm using this larger brush so that's why i'm having a little trouble then i tried to use my toothbrush but my toothbrush the bristles are very soft so it doesn't lay down well but it's not, it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that important. Just want to get them down so it looks neat. And which is what I did. I do the same thing on each side. Just make a couple of little swoops. It's nothing, it's no science really to it. However you think it looks good on your head will work. You know, I swoop it down. As you can see, it's a great shine to it. It is very soft. It lasts throughout the day but it's still very soft that's important to me because a lot of the edge controls are super hard i can barely even comb it by the end of the day and i have to wash it out again if i as long as i tie my hair down at night this lasts uh maybe two sometimes three days depending on how i wash my face and that's about it that's my look for the day sometimes i put it up in a ponytail or I just swing it over to either side. Again, for my crochet braids, I don't use the knotless method because it's really not that important to me that the braids or the parts don't show. Um, as long as my hair looks neat, I'm okay with it. And hopefully, I'm trying to make this last for four weeks. So this is my second week. I will check in once a week and let you guys know how I'm doing. And then I will do a growth check once I take these uh, crochet braids down. So, yeah, I've been enjoying them. This is my second week. Usually I've had to take them down after two weeks, but these are lasting pretty long. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.